Hi, Scorpio, how are you? This is Patricia from Cosmic Moonshot Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your February 14th to the February 28th, 2018 love reading for singles. Okay, this is for singles. For those of you that do not know me, I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community for over 25 years, giving channel messages through my angels, spirit guides, and ancestors, and also one-on-one -on -one personal readings around the world. Um, I do have a few announcements to make before I start with your reading. I want to say to everybody here that I do have a website that's up right now. Uh, me and uh, and one of my co-founders, was her name is Marlena Starr, okay, and I. We have uh, www.divinetimingsoultribe.com. So it's www.divinetimingsoultribe.com. Soultribe.com is uh, our new website, okay, and there you will find many services, uh, many uh, packages that are on sale right now, questions, uh, there's also healing modalities, uh, I do have a shaman that is a part of uh, the Soul Sisters, her name is Jenny Snow, uh, she has uh, been doing this for 15 years, uh, and, um, you know, and many counselors on board, so, um, um, please check out the website, okay? And also for those of you that have iPhone, uh, there's a free app called Instango, www.instango.com slash Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111 if you want to follow me there. If you ask, uh, you could ask any questions you want right now. Everything is like at the lowest price ever, okay, for the month of February. Um, I usually take between the same day, two or three days or four to five days, depending on how busy I am during the week and when making these videos, uh, but I will answer you uh, if I am online and you want to call me for a reading, you could call me. It's like having a psychic on the go. And I do have also a video calling also, um, which it records uh, the reading. And that also is at a very, very low price, okay? So that's all I wanted to tell you. Now, Scorpios, let's get into your reading. Um, <clears throat> so when I was, um, you know, when I started uh, getting into your energy, uh, Scorpios, I felt um, a very uh, a split, okay? So because I'm reading for a collective, you know, when you read for a collective, it's uh, you're reading for so many people at the same time. So uh, please bear with me when my channel messages come through, okay? Um, I did get that uh, some of you are still uh, going through uh, emotional uh, an emotional loss from the past, okay? I feel some of you are separated from a um, divine partner, which is AKA Twin Flame. Now, this is like um, some of yous, okay? I feel that you are still trying to heal that aspect of yourself. Uh, maybe you still feel a bit depressed, okay? Uh, and then from for others of you, uh, I feel that um, are going uh, you're going to be receiving unexpected news from somebody. It's going to be very truthful and honest. And it's going to be also very loving and passionate, okay? Um, I also felt for others of you that uh, when maybe right now you're talking to a few people, you're probably seeing someone, dating someone, <coughs> or you're dating a few people, whether, you know, whatever the case is, uh, the situation is. And I did feel in the cards, and not, but in the energy, I heard wedding bells, okay? Now, I'm not saying now in February, but who knows, maybe uh, February 14th, uh, you're going to be proposed to. And um, I, I, someone is going to get proposed to. Maybe I, I, I feel like 20% of you are going to get proposed to. And um, I, I feel that some of you are going to be moving in with a partner in like two months, from now to two months, okay? And I also see six months down the line that some of you Scorpios are going to get pregnant. I do see that for some of you, okay? So let's get started with your reading. I already shuffled the cards, okay? So now I'm just going to um, take four cards, four cards for you here. And then I'll take the other cards as well, put four cards out, and then I'll take... The romance angels and take four, uh, four other cards okay and then we're gonna go into your reading so uh, how you've been doing Scorpio you know how much I really appreciate your presence here I really appreciate you each and one of you okay and whenever you watch this is the right time for you if this reading does not make sense to you at all okay that means it's not meant for you so don't like try to break your head um, in thinking like, you know, did I do something wrong or what's going on here? Check, always check your rising sign, your moon sign and your Venus, okay? Venus is all is a planet about love. Just check all those sign, uh, those other signs that you have on your chart 
and it will give you a hint in each, uh, in each reading of your situation, okay? Okay. If in the reading there's something that resonates with you and you get like a hit, okay, like you feel it in your intuition, that means it's meant for you, okay? This, is, this one had to come out, okay. Then I'm going to take four cards from Sexual Magic here. So I want to wish everybody a happy St. Valentine's Day. Now, okay, this, I know all of you are single, but a lot of people don't like this holiday. And I understand why, but... Uh, this holiday, you can also use it for yourself, okay? Like if you are, you have no partner, you have no, uh, nothing is going on on that day. You know, maybe call your friends. I know that there's that movie, um, Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> that is coming out uh, on February 14th. Maybe you could uh, get together with your girlfriends, uh, or you know, go shopping, uh, go to the spa. Okay, if there's a spa that you want to go to, or anything like you know, you could buy yourself chocolate. It's all about self love, okay? So don't feel, um, you know, because you don't have anybody to go out with on St. Valentine's that you are lesser than because you are not, okay, Scorpio? Uh, you know, just uh, take time for you, love you, okay? You're, the, you're first, you're the first, you are the most important person is yourself, okay? Let me see who's current, okay. So I feel for some of you here that there's something that's not completed from the past or a lesson that's not completed because I feel like a lot of you are having a hard time walking away from somebody. Even though in a way that you surrendered, okay, and you surrendered and you, um, you know, you surrendered your heart or uh, you let go of the fears, okay. For some of you are dealing with a fire sign. It could be, um, you know, uh, Sagittarius, Leo or Aries I see here, okay. We're going to get more into the story and see what's going on here for you, Scorpio. I really love your energy when I do your cards. And I know I love everybody uh, equally. Uh, it's an unconditional love I have. It's a love vibration that I have for the collective, you know. But um, I really appreci appreciate your, uh, Scorpios, your energy a, a lot. Even though I feel like a lot of you get misunderstood, uh, you know, uh, it's because people don't really uh, get the time to get to know you. You know, in the way that your feelings are, in the way that you feel, okay? Um, so, where are the messages for Scorpio? I feel that someone in the past really hurt you a lot, okay? I, Because I, I did sense that for some of you here, okay? And uh, it's like, you know, you... You felt backstabbed, hurt, um, and there's something that's not completed. Even though it's the ending of a situation, okay, even though it's an ending of a, a situation for you, uh, I still you, you're still carrying this with you. A lot of you are not completely healed here. I see that, okay, because I don't think that this happened. It's not a long time ago that you've been single, okay, um, and um, you're... Just having a hard time moving from this person. Give me a card for it. Okay. This is something that already happened in the past. Like, it happened in the past, okay? There was a destruction around you. And uh, now it's like you're just waiting because you surrender to it, to it. So waiting meaning the universe, like the outside energies, you know, your eyes, outside energies. There's waiting here. Like you, uh, there's, there's nothing much you can do about it, you know. past I see there was a lot of um, there was a lot of uh, fighting you know maybe in the past you fought with this person there's a lot of arguments words being said I feel this is a fire energy but again it's a general reading so it could be for anybody you feel like you're you're at your ends with you're at you're at your ends with here I mean like you you went through the gut you went you know um, 
something that really broke your heart completely. You cried so much at night and um, you couldn't understand why that this happened to you. Um, but it's the end. It's the end of the situation, of this difficult situation that you're going through. And there is going to be a new beginning. Though you need to heal yourself, of course, okay? Um, some of you could also have been dealing with a Virgo as well. I do see a Virgo here, okay? Uh, secrets that came out. I feel secrets came out. You had to find out something that really hurt you. So I'm going to take extra cards now to uh, validate, to see what's going on here for you, okay? Why is this Ten of Swords here for Scorpio? I hope you enjoyed my new way of uh, reading because I always try to come up with something creative for my channel. Um, and to give you the best that I can of myself to you. I, I want to help as much as I can. That's why I like a lot of people, they say, well, you give personal readings. Yes, I do. I know I can make them shorter if I want to. But it's, um, it's one of my passions. And to give you a smaller reading is not going to be equivalent to what I'm giving to you now. Okay? And, uh, you know, and rest assured, my readings are, cards don't lie. My readings have always been very accurate. I do have 25 years of experience, so it's like more than like 25 years of experience. So, and um, you never like, um, you know, I'm not bragging or anything, but I always been like very good at what I'm doing. So yeah, maybe uh, you know you lost a lot of sleep here. The nine, the ten is together. You did lose a lot of sleep, uh, staying up late at night, uh, thinking, uh, always being in your mind. Uh, this really like consumed you also on a physical level. I feel here. A lot of views on a physical level. Uh, it could be that you were dealing with a, um, you know, older, okay, um, or the same age person that is a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or this person, or this was your energy where you were always in your thoughts, in your mind, you were cloudy, you can think straight, uh, you probably cut off somebody, but it was, um, this is what it's showing me. I'm going to ask for one more card, one more card just to get a Give me another card for the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Swords here. That is uh, reversed. Please show me. Show me. Give me a card. Give me another card, please. Okay, so, you know, because... I feel here for a lot of you is you're not healing properly yet, okay? Because this didn't happen, maybe like it happened 10 months ago, but everybody heals on a different rate. Some people heal faster, others don't, okay? It doesn't matter what it is, it's it's your own soul path. Um, you know, you're not, you're not, I, don't, I feel here you're not feeling well. You're not working on yourself, um, giving you self, like, you know, for you getting, for you to love yourself, self-love, because whatever happened to you has nothing to do with you. It's, it, it's what happened to you is, Reflect, reflects the other person. It does not define, uh, like you. I I feel here that you feel like you did something. You you deserved it, but you did not deserve this kind of treatment. I feel this, and uh, at the same time, you're not taking care of yourself properly. And this is, I'm getting hit here as uh, my guys are saying that uh, this has nothing to do with you. Okay, this had to happen to you because this had. To, it's not had to happen to you in a bad way, but. There was a, there's a lesson to be learned here, okay? And there's something that you need to understand because the world, I did it, the world upside down shows me there's something that is not learned yet, okay? Um, taking the time to go within yourself, self-love, self-care, and heal yourself will help you in the long run, okay? Um, and maybe call a friend, okay? Um, if you need help, uh, if you need like some healing done, uh, try to find a uh, around your neighborhood if you have someone around your neighborhood that is a Reiki master or any kind of healer that any type of healer that you could get a few sessions because the healers do work okay they help to take out a lot of things uh, maybe not in one shot but you're gonna get like a couple of healings you could get it if you don't have anybody in your area you could visit my website because we do have specials there and we do have the best he I, I do have the best healers on my website at this moment okay uh, wonderful ladies and uh, you know uh, 
just know that you're not alone, okay? That's This is for a portion of you, not all of you, but I know someone's feeling really bad here. And, um, you know, sometimes we could do a lot, but sometimes, um, you know, there's some things that we can't do for ourselves. And, oops, let others help you, you know? Um, so... The, uh, whatever happened to you in your past, a Scorpio, it was something that was done. It was a judgment. It was a decision from the angels because you deserve better than what you have been getting. Okay, um, I feel that um, this is something that you can you cannot avoid. It's something that happened out of your hands. It's not that like you cre created this. Okay, uh, when Saturn comes into um, Saturn came into Capricorn on December seventeenth. And it's still there now. What happens is that uh, Saturn is all about lessons and putting things uh, just, okay, and uh, putting justice in things. And uh, things will cr crumble. And I believe that this happened like a while back ago, but you're still like having a hard time with it because you're having a hard time walking away from the person, okay? So, but this is something that was judged for you, okay? But in the meantime, there's going to be an, an unexpected message coming towards you, okay? Uh, from it could be um, this could be the uh, younger or um, it could be an uh, air sign, which is Gemini, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, I do feel here that uh, in the near future. Okay, now this is in the near future. When, now, this is for some other of you, like whoever that's going through this hard time, this is for, there's a portion of the reading, this is for you. This is, I feel, is another reading as well, In, because there's many messages here for different people. But there is an unexpected message that's going to be coming in for you very quickly and very truthful, okay, um, Scorpio. And um, I feel some of you are going to get proposed, or you're going to move in together in the next, now to four months. But there's going to be happiness uh, in your home. There's going to be happiness in your home celebrations, okay? Um, if you need to let go, please let go. The one the one that's hurting here, please let go and uh, try to seek help. Try to heal yourself. Try to find a way. And Because whatever happened to you was not your fault is what I'm getting here. Give me a card for a tower reversed, please. The tower reversed. Scorpio, my beautiful Scorpios. This message for the tower. I also see marriage down the line. It could be from now to five months from now, or like you're going to be uh, doing a wedding uh, in September. I feel summer or September. Um, I feel there's a marriage that's coming up for some of you. Okay, or this has to do with a marriage. Belief systems. Some of you are going to get married in the, you know, probably not going to have anything traditional, but you're going to you know, go somewhere and elope and get married. Um, maybe in a courthouse for some of you. You're not going to make it like, maybe this is like a second wedding for both of you. These are for singles, but I see marriage down the line here. It's coming for you. I feel you're going to get proposed this month. Please let me know if that's the case. Yeah, there we go. You're going to be thinking very clearly, Scorpio, okay? Uh, you're going to be talking a lot. Very clear communication with love, okay? And uh, you're cutting everything and everybody out that does not belong there. You get an ace, okay? This is a very good card to get. You could also, It could be also with an air sign, okay? Air sign I also see here. A lot of people are telling me on the channel that um, they, you know, uh, they they watch me before they go to bed and they fall asleep and they feel that they're getting healed. Well, you are because uh, one of my superpowers is uh, my voice. It has a healing effect on everybody that I'm around with. 
So just in case that you fall asleep at night time when you're watching me, it's, not because, it's because of that reason. You'll feel my healing the next morning if you are in tune with your body. Yes, this has to do with a divine partnership. This is what I felt from the beginning. So there is a divine partnership, a.k.a. Twin Flame, that's coming towards you. Okay, uh, or this is the situation uh, in hand. I see a marriage here. Okay, something that happened in the past, something uh, had to change. Okay, uh, and um, because it was out of your hands, uh, you're going to see things very clearly. There's going to be a lot of communication. Things are going to be in balance. I feel both of you are going to be in balance, and I see marriage. Have Keep the faith, because things are beautiful. Things are coming for you, Scorpio, okay? Keep the faith. Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? Why is it reversed? Please don't forget to like, share, and comment. Um, as well, I do have a new um, channel, YouTube channel here on YouTube with my divine, uh, with my website, with uh, my soul sisters that were coming together and doing card readings. You could check it out. It's Divine Timing Soul Tribe Tarot 1111. Divine Timing Soul Tribe Tarot 1111. Please show support. Give us support. We are going to start going on tour very soon. Um, we um, around we I chosen like five six uh, states in the in the United States, even though I don't come from there. And there's also in Montreal. There's gonna be a um, we're gonna also have like a um, a tour here. Okay, so oh, okay. A lot of you have are having a lot of anxieties and fears. Some of you could be you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Uh, or there's also a lot of the, uh, you, you don't still have all information yet, okay, but there's a, another 10, so two 10s, you're on the right path, one, one, new beginnings happening for you, okay, um, and new beginning in love, okay, um, let me see why the three of pentacles, why is the three of pentacles here? You're fearing that this is not going to happen for you, I feel that, it's going to take a lot of work from you, okay, you, it's going to take a lot of work from you. You have to work, both of you, whoever, the, you and this other person, whoever it is, have to put a lot of work. Because a lot of you feel still like you're looking again, you're looking again here, and everything went wrong. Okay? You're looking at the things that went wrong, and you're not looking at the blessing behind you. You have to get out of the state, Scorpio, okay? Change the way you see things. Okay, because there's beautiful things, and you're fearing that it could also have been that you were uh, some of you dealt uh, with a third party situation in the past. Okay, because when I get a lot of threes here, this is what I, I'm also picking up. I feel uh, maybe the one person had to get out of the way. You feel you keep looking at this, but spirit is asking you to look at everything, see the viewpoint of other people as well. Okay, this is what I'm getting for some of you. This is another reading altogether. Give me a card for the Ten of Cups and the Moon. Give me the final card. Your Twin Flame, aka Divine Partner. Not everybody is going to be with them, okay? That, this is something that you need to understand. And if you're not with them, it's not the end of the world because you do have soulmates out there that are there waiting for you. Just remember that. I'm just going to... I don't know why who I had to say this to, but there's someone that needed to hear this. Give me a card for the Ten of Cups, please. I feel here you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Because I have the two court cards here. You both have fire in your energy. You're creating something also. I feel some of you are going to be having a baby in the near future. But you have to work on your patience. You need to work on your patience, okay? <coughs> Scorpio. If it's you, you need to work on your patience. You have to be patient. It's in divine timing. Remember, it's not in what you want. It's in divine timing. Okay? Uh, but you need just to be patient because there is new beginnings. There's a lot of information 
that you don't know yet. Again, I, I, I'm getting a lot of air energy, fire energy, and water energy here, okay? There's a lot of attraction between both of you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Stay in the moment. And it's coming very soon for some of you. Clearly decide what you want to so that it comes to you. You guys have to, if you want something to happen, you need to visualize it. Uh, say affirmations, okay, and prayers. Because it's coming very soon. Okay, a lot, of a lot of yous are calling in your soul, a soulmate too. Your prayers, affirmations, and realizations help you bring you together. So keep doing what you're doing. Stay positive. And a lot of it is children. Okay, children here. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay. Give me a card for the world reverse, please. Show me for the card reversed. Show me a card for the card reversed. For Scorpios. I feel both of you are very spiritual, very earthy people. Even though you're a Scorpio, I'm feeling like maybe your rising sign is a Leo, okay? And you have like, uh, your moon is in like Taurus or something. And your Venus is in Taurus or something. I feel very like you're very earthy people. Very um, whoever that is, is a new person coming or is this is something from the past? Okay, give me a card for the world reverse, please. Show me for Scorpio. Show me for Scorpio. A lot of yous are not letting anybody in right now. Or you're not letting that person in. You're not talking to each other. There's a separation here from a soulmate. This is a person from your past that was a soulmate energy. Okay. There's an imbalance, separation. You're taking a break. Probably you're not talking to each other and you're being defensive. Or they're being defensive. Or you're not letting anybody in. Okay. But there's some uncompleted business here. Okay. Something is not complete. And you need to complete this. If not, it's going to stay like this. Whatever it is that you need to complete, you know, Scorpio, who you are, okay? If there's something that needs to be learned from this, and then this could go like this, okay? And your lesson will be learned, completed, okay? And you will move to a next level. But right now, things are going to stay the way they are for some of you. Queen of Wands. Oops, wait a second. Okay, jeez, there's too many cards here. Okay, Queen of Wands, show me... What's going on with the Queen of Wands? This could be a Queen or a King because this is a general reading. If you'd like to more know more about your specifics, just you could question, have, leave the question on Instant Go, or you could leave a question on Divine Timing Soul Tribe.com, the website. Okay, if the or if you just want a reading, there's a, a lot of specials right now going on for all of you. If you want to reach out. Okay, the sun is shining very brightly here. I see a lot of yellow. I see finances doing well here. Finances. Now that, that's not for all of you, for some of you. There was a new beginning that was supposed to take place, but it's being delayed right now, okay? Where um, new beginnings. Uh, again, I got three tens on the ground. 10, 10, 10. That's something you are on the right path. So there's 11, 11 here, aka uh, twin flames on the ground as well in the near future and the sun is shining you could be dealing with a Leo sign okay and um, you know I just see a delay that's happening here maybe that's because something is not complete yet for you Scorpio okay give me a card for the eight of cups reversed and then eight of cups reversed Eight of Cups reversed. Let me a card for the Eight of Cups reversed. Someone's moving in very slowly here. Um, you need to use your intuition right now. Your intuition is doing good, Scorpio. Okay? Follow your intuition. 
Some of you are also calling in or uh, getting an appointment with a tarot reader to find out about your situation. Um, though I feel here that you have to use your own psych, okay, because your intuition is doing good. Uh, just make sure that you are on the light and not the dark side of you, okay, the shadow side, because you need to balance both, okay, especially if you're not feeling good. Maybe your intuition is going to be off a bit, but I feel for those of you here that a lot of things are coming together. Your, psych your psychicness of yourself, your own psych is doing very well, okay? But there is, uh, this person that you're having a hard time letting go of is someone that is coming very slowly, but it's reversed right now, okay? Um, doesn't mean that they're not coming. They might be coming, yes, but uh, extremely slow, okay? They're very slow people, uh, Scorpio, okay? Um, right now it's delayed. There's something delayed for you here. It could also, like I'm saying, it's, I'm going back to the, the world reverse because there's something that's not completed from your past, Scorpio. And you need to complete it if you want things to move along, okay? Give me another card for the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Give me a card for the Knight of Pentacles reversed. A lot of you are going through a financial loss too. So I say an emotional loss, a financial loss on both ends. Okay, something that happened in the past. Okay. Give me a final card. Give me a final card. For the whole reading. Give me a final card for the whole reading, please. I see celebration at the end. Okay, so I do see celebration. Friends coming together. You're celebrating. Something to be joyful for. Yes. Okay, the energy doesn't always have to be bad. It doesn't always have to be bad, okay? This will come through when all of this is fixed. Whatever it is that has to... Whatever it is, okay? So Because I see a lot of positive cards here. Beautiful things here. I do see this and I feel it, okay? Look at that. You have four tens on the ground. Four tens. Ten, 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 ten. Those are the ending of any difficult situation that you've been through. And there's going to be new beginnings. But you have to make the choice. Okay? Because something is not completed, Scorpio. There is celebration at the end. New beginning in love. New beginning in finances. New beginning in everything. What are you going to do? That's up to you. Okay? So now I'm going to take a card from the Sacred Rebels for you. I already shuffled them. I'm just going to take out one card. Let's see what they want to tell you. Okay, what's the card for Scorpio from February 14th to the 28th for singles? My beautiful Scorpios. What are your messages here? What are your messages? Give me a message for Scorpio. I have to pop up, so I just stayed in my hand. What's the message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from February 14th to the 28th? There we go. Again, I think, who got this card? I don't know if it was Cancer, Pisces, or Leo. Anyway, someone got this card. Uh, so you got number 8 here, okay? Number 8, which uh, is Be the Hunter, Not the Hunted. Okay, so I don't know if you see the card well. Be the Hunter, Not the Hunted. It's time for you to uh, take reins of your life and move forward. This is what I feel for some of you here. You need to uh, be a leader that you are, Scorpio, okay? And I wish you well. Uh, oh, yes, one more thing. I am giving away uh, tarot card readings. Uh, I am reading, not tarot card readings, sorry. I'm giving away a tarot deck uh, for the month of February. It's uh, Amira's Love Oracle, which is a beautiful deck to get. I usually use this for my one-on-one -on -one clients here in my community. Um... And I'm going to be giving it away for the month of February. So uh, with the people that view me the most, like it the most, uh, or share it, okay? And uh, comment uh, if you really need it and tell me why you need it, why you feel that you need this deck. And I will choose someone randomly in the comments, okay? So um, have a great February. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you, Scorpio. I love you. Bye.